everybody. Good evening. It is uh, Flag Day, June 14th. Welcome to the Town of Rhinebeck's Town Board Meeting. Would everybody please uh, join us for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay. Um, May I have a motion for the approval of our prior minutes from May 10th, 2021? Chauncey, you're muted. Every, yeah, Chauncey, Alan, you're muted. How about you want a motion it, Josh? Motion. How about a second? Second. Thanks, Ed. Any discussion, any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Thank you. We'll come back to announcements uh, and committee uh, liaison reports. Uh, I'd like a motion for resolution 2021-115, a letter of support for the Hudson River Maritime Museum's Project Riverlink. I'll make that. Thank you, Ed. May I have a second? Second. Thanks, Josh. Is there any discussion? Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, may I have a motion for resolution 2021-116 for the summer of 2021 recreation hires and cleaning service? Motion. Thank you, Alan. May I have a second? Second. Thanks, Josh. Any discussion or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Thank you. Um, I need a motion for resolution 2021-117, Highway Department's purchase, purchase of a payloader. Motion. Thanks, Josh. May I have a second? Second. Thanks, Alan. Any discussion or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chance, I didn't get your vote. Yes. Okay. Oh, sorry. Now I see you better. Okay. Uh, it's gallery view view. Okay. Passes unanimously. Thank you, uh, gentlemen. Um, I'll make a motion for resolution 2021-118 for our New York State Municipal Workers' Compensate Comp Alliance member participation agreement. <clears throat> May I have a second? Second. Thanks, Chance. Is there any discussion? This is late in the year. It should have been done at housekeeping time. I can only think that COVID slowed them down. Um, uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Passes unanimously. Uh, resolution 2021-119 for the installation of a historic marker at the Quitman House. I'll make a motion. May I have a second? Second. Thanks, Ed. Is there any discussion? Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Thank you. Um, I would like uh, a motion for resolution 2021-120, configuring town hall computers with dual factor authorization. Motion. Thanks, Alan. May I have a second? Second. Thanks, Ed. Is there any discussion or any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Thank you, gentlemen. Um, resolution 2021-121, uh, a memorandum of understanding to complete the grant application process for the Climate Smart Community Program for a Climate Action Planning Institute of Dutchess County. Motion. Thanks, Josh. May I have a second? Second. Thanks, Alan. Is there any questions, any discussion? This is just, it's finally moving forward. Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, but I'm going to slow things down here, at least for the purposes of a bit of discussion. Um, I have read through this a couple of times. <clears throat> um, it, it is one of the most one-sided agreements I've ever seen. It reads as though the attorney who drafted it, who I assume represents Dutchess County, forgot that he was dealing with co-contracting parties. To give you but one example, and the participants of which we are one are required to indemnify the county and provide insurance in case issues arise out of our work. There's no reciprocal provision protecting us in case the county gets us in trouble, nor is there a provision in, by which the participants agree to protect each other. So that's one serious problem that I have with it. Um, 
In a moment. If you go over to page nine, and I don't know that you need to really, there are many items that would be characterized by most people, at least who are not lawyers, as boilerplate. All of them run to the county, none of them run to the participants. To give you just one example and not bore you with a lot of the others, the very first one is that the participant represents that the people doing its work um, have the necessary experience, knowledge, and character to perform their duties. The county says nothing like that on our behalf. And the same thing is true of things like non-discrimination, retention of records, non-assignment and the like. There's this, I would make the same comment about paragraph 19. Notice so there are a lot of problems with the contract. Sounds that way. Yes. How do you want to handle it, Chance? I think somebody needs to go back to the county. Uh, I assume it would be our council um, and tell them that, and, and express this general concern that we're being asked to sign an agreement that in every way imaginable protects the county, but does nothing for the participants. Would you mind working with Josh on this and, and, and Warren? Sure, I'd be glad to. Jo Josh, is it okay if we table this and, and throw our best legal brain at it on the board? Sounds good to me. <laughs> our only lead, just because you're the only one doesn't mean you're not the best. <laughs> Not mutually exclusive. No. Okay, so <laughs> you thank you. Do you have any idea who we should talk to? Um, I, Josh will. I mean, I think we should go through channels, Josh, but not just call the county's attorney directly. So um, you and Chance get together on it, and then Chauncey speak to Warren, and then go get him. Sure. Go get him to Poughkeepsie. Does All Warren right. have it? I didn't see an indication that he does. I don't know, but we could get it to him easily. Okay. All right, yes, so I will follow up with Josh and uh, John. This is tabled to our next meeting. Yeah, it really needs a lot of work. I don't, I don't imagine it'll be ready by the next meeting, but that would be fine. We'll or try. if not the next meeting, the meeting after that. Right. When you're ready. Thank you. Um, so, resolution 2021-122, withdrawal from intermunicipal agreement to share certain highway equipment. May I have a motion? Motion. Thank you. May I have a uh, second? Second. Thanks, Alan. Is there any discussion? Were any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Passes unanimously. You're batting a thousand tonight, Bob. Um, yes, thank you. Um, I'll make a motion on resolution 2021-123, partial reopening of town hall and resumption of in-person board meetings. May I have a second? Second. Thanks, Ed. The only thing I want to change with this is instead of they may go back to in-person meetings, we're going to sort of mandate that statutory boards go back to in-person meetings in anticipation of the governor doing that. That's why we've given it this mid-January date, which Josh, I will be away. So you'll be chairing unless you guys want to change <laughs> the meeting. That'll be interesting. I think we can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Oh, I appreciate the vote of confidence. I'll, I'll... <laughs> I'll start. Hey, we didn't vote. <laughs> There's no voting on that, but I, I, we, you know, the governor is probably going to rescind his executive order. Uh, you know, things are normalizing on, on, on July 12th. We will be open to the public. Uh, we will mandate that people wear masks when coming in. We're going to install, if you vote for it, a door system, which I'll explain more. And we're going to go, we're going to go back. So we'll be together in town hall again. Starting bring, in July. Bring your green tomatoes. Just Sorry? Bring your green tomatoes. No. Okay. One um, more question for Elizabeth. Thing. Yes. Um, is it intended when we talk about um, staff and the public being masked and social distancing that when we have our meetings, we will wear masks during? No, because we'll be speaking. We'll keep people at a distance from us. I mean, I, I, it's, it's personal choice now. If you are, if you are vaccinated, you can do what you want to do. If you're not vaccinated, you're supposed to wear a mask. I will not be wearing a mask during meetings. We will keep the public scattered at seat, the many public who show up. And um, I don't believe that our staff, our staff will wear masks if they choose to. But the only word I'm changing in here is here is 
John, they may go back to um, in-person meetings to will go back, please. Okay. All in favor of the- um, I just wanna say the, one thing before we vote. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, Fred and I are, uh, Fred Shakin and I are, are meeting with a AV guy to look at replacing Zoom, which has been pretty good with, with uh, you know, what, whatever works for us uh, as, a, as at least an alternative to the Panda thing that you've been doing. So, so let me be clear, we're not going to have hybrid meetings. We won't be in person and allow the public to come in virtually. I'm not going to take virtual questions okay. if we're there, but we are looking for a way that we could not have a, a videographer. I know we're not doing it on video anymore, a um, digital photographer. Um, and we'll see, Alan's, uh, Alan's working on that with Fred. Yeah to be continued. Okay, uh, so we have a, an amendment to the resolution. All in favor of the, of the amendment to the resolution? Aye. 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 Unanimous. All in favor of resolution to resume normal town board activities on July? Aye. 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 Okay, unanimously. Thank you, gentlemen. Um, I need a motion for uh, item 10, resolution 2021-124, installation of a radon mitigation system in town hall. I'll make that. I knew you would, Ed. May I have a second? Second. Chance, thanks. Um, I just want to say before we vote on this that we have big issues with downstairs. We have a leaking um, septic pipe. We have radon. We have fumes from the oil. And we might have mold. Um, we need to start looking at moving our people out of there and into the court office and consolidating court space, Great. sharing space with the village. Um, we would move our court into the village offices so that we could move assessors into the court space and get building and planning and zoning out of this, this danger zone of radon, oil, dust, everything. Right. Right to be continued, but we would, I guess the village is not ready to dissolve courts, but we can share a space with the village and the town courts in the village hall. Um, but we're voting on a, on, a, on a radon mitigation system right now. So are there any questions regarding that? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So moved, thank you. Uh, I need a motion for resolution 2021-125 for mold testing in town hall. I'll make it. I knew that, Ed. May I have a second? Second. <laughs> Thanks, Alan. Uh, any discussion or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Thank you. Um, I will make a motion for resolution 2021-126 for the purchase and installation of a town hall security system. May I have a second? Second. second. Alan, I'll take you. Um, this, uh, the village has this system where uh, there's a camera uh, and you buzz the doorbell and your face comes up and then someone can buzz you in. We want to install, also uh, everyone coming in will have to punch a keypad so we'll know who's coming in and coming out if we use one entrance. This is so we have more security if people are working at night and so we could control uh, people um, for reopening. Say um, Kimberly has 10 people wanting to come to the building department. It's wait outside for a moment and I'll buzz you in when I'm done with somebody else. It's, it's about 3,300. We probably should have done this a long time ago for security and operating ease. Uh, we will have um, uh, video phones in the clerk's office what is the court office, whatever that becomes, in the assessor's office and in building and zoning. So there'll be four areas that can buzz people in, maybe the bookkeeper's office as well. Are there any questions? Everybody in favor? Yes. Yep. Aye. Aye. Thank you, gentlemen. Passes unanimously. Um, I need a motion for a resolution 2021-127, mitigation of insects at the town pool. No move. Thank you, Alan. May I have a second? Second. Thank you. Thank you, Ed. Is there any discussion or questions? Yeah, well, first of all, the, the donation, I thought we agreed we, we would return and take the whole thousand out of the pool equipment line. 
number one. What this is is to, to mitigate the black flies that uh, have been attacking some of the people in the pool at different times. We put a line of uh, bug zappers along the fence between you know, on the western side of the pool. Uh, it was actually brought to us by Bob Miglio. Who, uh, so here's the thing. I'm grateful for his donation, but it's embarrassing that we would accept the donation to do something that we're supposed to be doing when we have the money. If, if Mr. Migliorino, who's been so generous, would like to donate it to our field fund, that would be great. And we certainly should be taking care of this. That's already, my thoughts. You already told us to destroy the check. So. Okay. So that'll call, I agree, and that'll call for change in the resolution. Yeah. So, so basically, we would strike the words, including the donation, the remaining $500, and just have it not to exceed a thousand to come from the pool equipment. Great. Uh, so we have a, a an amendment on the floor. Everybody in favor of the amendment to the resolution? Aye. Aye. Um, everybody in favor of the resolution? Aye. 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 Passes unanimously. Again, we're in violent <laughs> agreement here. Um, I will make a motion for resolution 2021-128 for budget transfers and amendments. May I have a second? Second. Thank you, Alan. Um, is there, are there any questions or any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Alan? Aye. Okay, passes unanimously. Thank, oh, any opposed? It's unanimous, so there can't be, you can't vote twice. Um, I will make a motion for resolution 2021-129 for our preliminary accounts payable abstracts of six checks totaling $95,898.58. May I have a second? Second. Thank you, Ed. Uh, is there any discussion or questions? I, I have one question. Um, there is a uh, charge in here for $170 for an interpreter to the courts. Uh, our practice has been to use an online uh, system that's about five or ten dollars. This is our second invoice for 170. As the chief financial officer, I would like your permission to pay this invoice and let Judge Sanchez know that we will not be spending this amount of money, that it should be free through the county or there's a free service from the county or the online service, which is about $5. I agree. I agree. I agree. Thank you. Okay, uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. Um, I will make a motion for resolution 2021-130 for our capital projects abstracts, two checks totaling $2,287. May I have a second? Second. Is that chance? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. All, uh, any questions or discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. So moved. I see that there are people here. I'm sure you want to talk. Before that, I would like to make a motion to go into executive session to discuss uh, the status of a cons possible hiring of a consultant for the town. May I have a second? Second. OK, uh, Freddie, can you put us in a room? Yes. We'll be back. Hi. I think we have to unmute ourselves, uh, gentlemen of the board. We're all muted. Um, I would like to make a motion from the floor to hire Professor Myra Armstead from Bard College to consult with us on the Olin Dow murals in uh, the post office for an amount not to exceed $500, which includes a written overview of her thoughts and recommendations, a phone call with Bill Jeffway of Dutchess County Historical Society and myself, and uh, an appearance at a town board meeting for a brief uh, talk. Do you want a second? Yeah. Okay. Thank right. you, Ed. So that's me and Ed. Um, any discussion or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. Thank you, gentlemen. Um, do any of you have any announcements or committee or liaison reports? I have one really quick. Uh, we, remember you passed um, a resolution not too long ago about being able to try to hire a temporary worker for the rec park 
And I have had no success at all in two weeks on Craigslist and also with the guidance counselor at our high school. Not one Ew, It's so hard to find people. I know. So if anybody knows anybody would love to have a job and is 18 or older, I'd be glad to look at the application. Okay, yeah. well, let's all put our feelers out and see if yeah. we could find any kids who uh, want to do some. Yeah, I didn't even get it's one. It's really those. hard. We're having a hard time staffing up for the pool and rec camp. Um, okay, thanks for trying it. Um, Ed, uh, anybody who, okay, well, we could talk about it more, but thank you. Thank you for that. Um, Anybody else have any? Okay. Um, I got a communication from a Rhinecliff resident about kayak storage. I'm going to put it on for our next agenda and start a conversation about that. Also, developing plans for a pocket park, or actually the um, the uh, um, renovation of the existing pocket park in Rhinecliff near our parking lot to make it a more inviting space. So that will invite them to our next meeting uh, and talk about it. Um, is there anybody here who has any public comment on any non-agenda items, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Elizabeth. Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, Carl Duncanberg. Yeah, I just have a brief statement on behalf of Rhinebeck, uh, rural Rhinebeck neighbors about you could guess probably uh, the Red Wing uh, road access work going on on White School House Road. Um, so this is from members. We'll uh, furnish you guys with a copy of it and the names um, of the members of our group afterwards. Um, since March 23rd, members of our group and other concerned residents have sent the town board, zoning administrator, and highway superintendent comments and pictures of work occurring at the Red Wing property on White School House Road. On April 27th, the town issued a notice of violation stating you are hereby ordered to terminate, cease and desist all access road construction and extractive mining activities at the mine location until such time as special use permits are applied yes. for um, and granted by the town of Randbeck Planning Board. Um, but the work continues, as many of you know, uh, on the access road at the very least, unabated as far as we can tell. Uh, almost three months have passed since this was brought to our town board's attention. We are frustrated, perplexed, and disappointed at the lack of action. We residents have lived, many of us for decades, with respect for the rules and the zoning code that govern property ownership here. We understand that Red Wing's recent court ruling has put the town in a difficult position, but it's nevertheless very difficult to stomach a neighbor who seems to care so little for these same regulations that have been instrumental in making Rhinebeck such a wonderful place to live. The town needs to enforce its zoning laws now. As our representatives, we need you to demonstrate that you will protect our health, safety, and welfare. Please let us know how you plan to accomplish this. Thank you. And as I said, we'll uh, send you a copy of everyone who signed. Uh, Thank you, Paul. Anybody Thank else? Okay, uh, any other new uh, public comment on non-agenda items or new business before the town board? Okay, hearing none, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Second. Thank you. All right, thanks for coming, uh, Carl, Paula, Linda, Tim, everybody. Um, and uh, we uh, will see you uh, in two weeks. Um, meeting adjourned, thanks.